Okay, so hi everyone. My name is Jennifer. I'm so excited. Today is the day that I'm going to be doing a houseplant tour. I have been wanting to do this for a long time now, but I'm so nervous and I'm just, you know, not the, getting the strength to do it. But uh, today is a beautiful day. It's sunny outside, so I figure I'll do it now. So the last time I counted, I have like 91 plants in my collection. Most of them are babies because I live in a um, tiny apartment with my fiance. So I would like them to have like enough space when the plants they, they grow up. So yeah, I'm excited for this uh, plant tour and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so let's start over here. This is our entryway. The first plant you will see is a heart leaf a philodendron, like a regular green form that is hanging on our coat rack or trailing. And then next one is a marble queen pothos that is hanging on a macrame that I made. Down below is my Raphidivora tetrasperma. I got this when it was a baby and it is now tall. Next to it is a Ficus elastica burgundy that I've, trying to, I've been trying to figure out because this one always has curly leaf no matter what I do with it. So yeah, I'll just leave it alone there. This one is a Peperomia obtusifolia with the green variegation in the middle. I don't know what exactly is the variety, but yeah. So that's the plants on the entrance. And then over here, I have my peace lily dwarf that is beautiful and lush. Next to it is a person jade that is doing beautifully in this lower light condition. And then on the table here, I have my money tree. This is a plant that was given to me by a friend and it's doing so well. It has a lot of new leaves. I don't know if you can see, coming out over there. On top, I have a um, Flamingo uh, Anthurium that has a flower. This one is in a low light uh, area, but it seems to be thriving, so I just leave it there. Now let's go up there. This is our living room. Pardon the mess if it is messy. So let's do the wall here first. I have this Sunseveria Laurentii. A lucky bamboo that was given to me as a gift by a friend. My other piece lily that I couldn't figure out as well. I know I think it has something to do with the humidity because the tips are browning. But other than that, it seems to be doing well. Like, see, there is a new leaf coming out from there. There's a new one there. And there's quite a few new leaves in this one too. So I guess that seems to be fine. Now let's pan you over here. This is a ledge behind the couch. And I have like this African violet, a regular green. And I have this one with the red back. I don't know the exact name for them, but yeah. This one here is a Peperomia ripple, Peperomia red ripple. Look at the texture of that leaves, isn't that beautiful? And it's like dark red, or uh, like dark, dark red too. Those are flowers. Let's see, these are flowers. This one here. I know I should cut them off, but let's leave it alone. It seems to be fine. This one here is a philodendron something something. I don't know exactly the name. It has this narrow, long, elongated leaf. If you know the name, please let me know. That would be a great help. And it has a new, new leaf as well. There. 
so yeah that's the ledge now this is my window this is a south facing window and i have a few plants here and on the floor too so let's start on the top over here i don't know if you how well you could see that it's so backlight but this is my let me move that this one is my synapsus trubia moonlight that is doing so well it has a lot of new leaves too this one here and then there's one there and a few more on the back but it's hard to see so yeah here is my philodendron gloriosum that has three leaves this is the newest one see how big that is it's beautiful too so yeah that's that down below is my marble queen pothos that is very beautiful and lush and full like i just chop and propagate this one and then put the cutting back into the pot so yeah down here on the floor i have a few plants i have a ficus elastica tiniki that is beautiful always has new leaf like just i think this two weeks it had given me this one this one here and then a new one on the way here down below to fill the pot i just put this one here this is a certain severia cylindrica this one is a very slow grower too like i've had it for a year now or a lot more than a year and it doesn't seem to grow very well this one i think is already dead i don't know next to it is my skindapsus exotic this one is beautiful i like the leaves the texture of the leaf and then the print on it and this one is huge it's almost like the size of my hand beautiful it is also giving me see how thick those leaves are it is also giving me this new one here this is a new leaf oh boy it's hard to see but yeah that's the new leaf and then the back is my philodendron uh, prince of orange this one is beautiful especially when the leaves are new they came out they come out like orange orangey like that and this one too this is the newest one and then they will turn into like a not so dark green something like that color yeah it's beautiful beside it is this monstera decursiva that only has three leaves i've actually um cut this one a while back and i gave the cutting to a friend and it has this thing here that I don't know what it's doing. I mean, it's been like that for a while now. It seems to be turning, sorry, that was my finger. It seems to be turning yellow. I don't know, maybe because I'm touching it. <laughs> yeah, I just can't help it. So yeah, that's my Monster de Cursiva. Here behind the TV is a Philodendron Narrow Leaf or Jungle Boogie as they call it. It is giving me a new leaf too, here. And it's beautiful. I like the shape of this uh, zigzag leaf, you know, beautiful. And then next to it is a Sansevieria baccalaris. I don't know if I'm saying it right, and I don't even know if it's the right name, but yeah, that's that. And then let's go over to the other side of the window. So these are the plants that are here. This one here. Okay, so let's start on the top here by the window. This one is a Philodendron Macaulay Spinale. And I don't know if you could see that properly, but it has like dark red leaves too. Beautiful. 
Beside it is a philodendron birkin that is bald on the bottom, but seems to be giving me new leaves. Like the lighter colors are the new ones. There. Then down here is a marble queen pothos that a friend of mine had given me. Seems to be doing well. Down here on the floor is my fiddle leaf fig that is doing so nice and beautiful and lush and crunchy, beautiful. And I can't wait for it to grow taller. Yeah, like, I don't mind it branching out too, but I want it to be taller. So there's that. Then on the back there is a Peperomia G. A Peperomia variegated ones. Sensiveria laurentii or no it's not laurentii i don't know but it's a sensiveria i'm sure snake plant actually they call it this one here is a holiday cactus and the other one is a cactus too that i don't know the name so if you can let me know that would be great now let's go to the plant wall that is behind the couch as well that is the plant wall. Let's start with this one here. This is a Chinese evergreen, just a regular green one. Okay, so look at the pattern on the leaf. This one here is the new one. It just unfurled like a few days ago. I just have like a grow light supplementing for that one because it doesn't have like, it doesn't have enough natural light. Beside it is this golden pothos that is trailing all the way down here to the empty pot. <sighs> yeah, it's huge and beautiful. This one here is empty for now. I have a plant that is going there. This one is another marble queen pothos. Heartleaf philodendron that is growing. Although it has smaller leaves, it's fine. To the other side, I have this Calathea that I'm, no, I'm not sure about the exact name, but I know it's Calathea and it has a grow light too. This one is another, another Marble Queen Pothos. I have a few of Marble Queen Pothos or Pothos in general because Mainly, I don't have like a lot of natural sunlight here. So I know uh, Pothos try, uh, thrives on uh, low light, so that's why. This one here is a Shaflera, which I'm not pretty sure it is. This one here also is a Shaflera arboricola. So look at the difference between the two, if they are uh, really this like, uh, Shiflera, I don't know. This one here is an anthurium, just like a regular one, similar to the one over there on the ledge. So, yeah, I just have that one here, and it seems to be doing fine. Like it doesn't get in uh, like a lot of uh, natural sunlight too, but it seems to be fine. Now let's go to here. That one is another golden pothos and another one here. They get light from that window here. Okay, now let's go to the plant on the table. This one here is my stromatic chia star that is beautiful and red and pink and all that mix of color. It's beautiful. Okay, down here, I have like a chair with plants on top and with the light from a lamp. Okay, on the back, like I'm not gonna take them out because it uh, takes time to put them back. <laughs> so here we have the Alocasia Silver Dragon that is giving me a new leaf there. Down on the stem, I can see like, I'm not sure if those are leaves like if, if those are gonna be leaves or their roots, I'm not sure. This one here is a cutting of thyme. 
this one is my white princess philodendron that is not very white but i just leave it alone it has like a lot of new growth points like i think there's one there's there's another one here and should be one in the bottom there so yeah and that is a cutting or a chunk of a monstera album that i'm trying to root on the back i know it's hard to see i have the um monstera let me take it out actually this one is a monstera Thai constellation that I am trying to grow. So let me just put this back. Now on the back, back, I don't know if, how well you could see. I have a this one. Um, this is a Aglionema Maria that has beautiful re roots coming out and I think those are growth points so there's like three of them there so I'm excited for this one to grow let me just put this back now here I have cuttings boy this is tight okay so this one here are cuttings of my neon pothos that was not doing so well so I chop it off and propagate them and so far it seems to be doing well look at the roots I think I'm gonna put this up soon so yeah I have that and the last plant over here is the anthurium crystallinum this one only has two leaves there's one over there and then it has new leaves coming out. I hope there are new leaves. So there's one there and there. I'm so excited for those. So, yeah, let me just put that back. Now here I have my, what is this called? Um, thumb cane, the Finbecchia. This one was given to me by my friend who also happened to like plants. This is a cutting from her mother-in-law's thumb cane. And look how tall that is. Goes down there with the big, beautiful leaves. Okay, down below I have a rubber tree that is dying, but also at the same time, it is giving me new leaf. So it's confusing. <laughs> I just leave it alone and it seems to be fine. This one here is a Kalankobi. This one I brought outside last year during the summer and I don't know what happened to it. It looks scruggly since then. This is a cyclamen that had flowered for me last week, but I cut it off. This one is a Peppermere Rosso that seems to be fine. It used to be full and lush, but now it's like that. Next to it is a Philodendron Rojo Congo, if that is the right name for it. See, that is a beautiful new leaf coming out. I know I shouldn't touch it, but beautiful. This one here on a cloche is a pair, no, Begonia. Begonia Frosted or Begonia Frost. This one I've chopped quite the. Uh, a few times now so look at that and then all the way here it has new growth points like this one here and then there's one there and there's one on the bottom if you could see that one the green thingy there that's a new growth point so yeah and then this one here is a sad gasteria that I don't know how to take care of I guess this one here is a parlor palm that is not looking too bad either. This one here is a Dracaena fragrance that had grown tall for me. I had this since it's like this tall and then it's 
growing that much. Over here on my bookshelf, I have a purple oxalis that a friend had given me. See how beautiful they are. They're like butterflies, you know? Pretty, pretty purple. And then on top I have the uh, person jade photos, I think. It's the same one as the one on my entryway, so yeah, doing so well. This one is another Kalankoe that is, I don't know, doing okay, I guess. And then on top of the microwave here, I have a Dracaena marginata. It stays here and it seems to be fine. Okay, so I guess that's it for my plants. So this is the dining room. That is the plant wall. Plants by the windows. The ledge. And another plants here. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you on the part two of this plant tour. Part two would be the plants in my bedroom and on the landing on upstairs. Okay, see you guys in the next one. Bye.